Orange County Registered Digital. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to OCVarsity.com for our OC Varsity Gridiron Show. We're here at your Belinda High School. The Mustangs, they're getting ready to play Cypress. We'll have a little bit more on that on our OC Varsity Extra Gridiron Show here. Guys, Dan Albano, Steve Fryer, Carlos Arias, got some big games coming up. We got Orange Lutheran and St. John Bosco. Man, uh, those the We Are Olu guys flying high. 6-0, and 1-0 in the league, beat Jay Sarah last week. They seem to be doing everything well. They're going to have to do everything well and then some to beat St. John Bosco. That game's at, at Bosco on Friday. Orange Lutheran got a fighting chance in this thing, Danny? Sure. I mean, uh, the way they played last week against, uh, you know, Jay Sarah, very tremendous uh, victory for him. Uh, this is a uh, Bosco team that's probably the best team in the state, so my pick's going to be Bosco. But, you know, uh, you know, the Lancer Nation can, you know, you know, be happy that they, you know, at least they got that one victory, you know, start off league last week. Orange Lutheran, do they have a chance, Carlos? Okay, I don't want to sound mean, but absolutely not. I saw Santa Margarita play St. John Bosco last week, and Bosco is ridiculous. Um, De La Salle might be the only team that has a chance of, of even slowing them down a little bit. What is the biggest upset you've ever seen in boxing? Biggest upset I've ever seen in boxing, Mike Tyson, Buster Douglas. That was ridiculous. Buster Douglas was in the previews. He's got icicles on his face running in the snow, and you're like, this guy might be able to pull off something crazy, and he did. Well, there's no icicles here, but get that Buster Douglas tape, Orange Lutheran. Okay, on to some other games, guys. Corner Del Mar versus Woodbridge. Corner Del Mar 6-0, 1-0 in the league. Shut out Irvine last week. Man, that was a one-sided affair, 36 to nothing. We've talked about Corona Del Mar, you know, going 10 and 0 into the playoffs, and maybe keep, you know, 4 and 0 in the playoffs. Carlos Woodbridge, 4 and 2, 1 and 0. Uh, can they take a shot at the CDM and bring them down? You know what, Corona Del Mar is too good. They're too tough. Um, I, I've been talking to Ronnie uh, Shield or <laughs> Ronnie Flores over at Cal High Sports, and uh, he he just got a good look at him last week, and he's like. If they run the table, they're going to the state title. Ah, that'd be fun for them to, yeah. to go to the, uh, the state bowl game. Dan Albano, what do you think? Uh, Corona Del Mar just too gosh darn good? Yeah, Corona Del Mar be my pick, but I think if anybody's going to give them a, uh, the Sea Kings a challenge in the uh, Pacific Coast League, it's probably going to be the Warriors. You know, they had a, you know impressive victory last week, and, you know, they lost uh, their you know, really outstanding running back, one of the best in Orange County, Austin DeFritis, to yeah. a season-ending injury. I mean, he... You know, there's been a lot of debate, you know, this year, who's the best running back in Orange County? You know, Austin would have been in that conversation, but he's injured. I'm sticking with the Sea Kings, but uh, I think uh, I think the Woodbridge team could maybe put a couple points on the board. Yeah, that'd be fun. You know, you're talking about best uh, running backs in Orange County, Devin Boston. He's, Ooh, you know, one of the yeah. first names you mentioned. Yeah. Buena Park and Devin Boston. Devin Boston, we got to start looking at the Mike Jones uh, uh, all-time uh, career records pretty soon, the way Boston's going, Dan. Got to take a look at that. Devin Boston. He's averaging 249 yards a game, 12 yards a carry. You know, only one time has he been kind of controlled. That by Jay Serwin at 57 yards. 22 touchdowns for Devin Boston, the senior of Buena Park. He and his Buena Park Cody teammates go up against Troy a Friday game. And I'll tell you what, man, Troy looking really good. 6-0, 1-0. They beat Sonora pretty good last week, 41-6. And then Buena Park, they got a close win against Sunny Hills, uh, 30-22. to I think maybe Buena Park's got a shot, but I'm still sticking with Troy. Yeah, Boston's coming off. Uh, he ran for uh, 316 yards last week against Sunny Hills on 24 carries. So they didn't. So he got a lot of yards per carry. Yeah. You know, uh, Coyotes didn't score in the first half again in that game. They had to rally late uh, in the second half and fourth quarter. My pick's going to be Troy because um, I like uh, Kyle Lumina Wright. He's a really outstanding quarterback at Troy. He's uh, throwing it, and uh, Dominic Vacher is, is a is a receiver, running back guy who's uh, coming off a big week. I think uh, Buena Park. You know, prepared for this game, but nicely by playing Jay Sarah, which has kind of got a similar offense to Troy. But I think Troy's going to win, uh, win, this, win this game. Carlos Arias, agree or disagree? Agree. Yeah, totally. You guys are right on the money about Troy. They're, they're more of a balanced attack. You know, uh, Bloomer's doing real well, uh, spreading the ball around to different receivers. They got, a, a you know, some really good running backs. It's a really good balanced attack. I like Troy. That's what's going on in some of the big games. A lot of big games coming up. Hey, thank you to the man behind the camera there, our expert producing director, Jonathan Camus. And thank you for watching us here at OCVarsity.com, where we've got you covered. Orange County Register. We are here in the service of Orange County.